Hi, everyone. Welcome in. I hope you all are doing great. I'm doing okay. I am having some technical difficulties as always. So I am just trying to figure out something and then we'll get started. But we're going to be doing some stamping and coloring and um, some card making and maybe we'll get to boxes if I can figure out how to <laughs> get what I need to get working. So let's see. Always trying stuff, right? Always trying stuff. I can't see the chat right now, so that's the issue. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's see. I may have to leave and come right back. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this will work. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like a little basic thing too never something super crazy just something basic all right so i have a prima stamp and this is from jamie doherty and she has a few different collections these are hard to get a hold of but you know I got mine from eBay uh, some websites still sell them and things like that so that's where I got mine from we're going to just go ahead and cut this down really quickly you know in in being prepared sometimes you can under prepare and sometimes you can over prepare I'm not sure where I am in that statement because it always seems to be something happening. Hi, Heather. How are you today? Hopefully well. I'm trying out a new platform because I have been having heck with my other one. I do apologize for the glare, but the glare will only be there a short amount of time. Hi, Nick. How are you today? I'm going to put the thing in the mail today. I didn't have any um, boxes, so I have to go to the post office. And let's see if this works out. And if it does, this will be our new favorite one. Good morning, Samara. Hope you're doing well. I need to actually send you a, uh, a question. <laughs> this ink has, I've had this ink since... Let's not lie. 2018-ish, I think. And it's just now starting to show signs that I need to re-ink it or get a new one. So, you know, these ink pads last a long time. And I used to store them upside down like this. And now I don't. I just leave them up right. So we're going to see if this will actually do what it says that it will do. It says it keeps everything in place and you can take these off and stamp them again and again and again. I personally feel like the one with the hinges is much more safer for me, but we shall see what happens. So just going to do a good inking. I thought I had used her before, but she looks really clean. So you know what happens when you uh, have a clean stamp the first time. Um, next week, I just want to let y'all know, I'm probably going to be making some jewelry. So hopefully you're okay with that for the live stream. I have been messing around and getting semi-organized. And in getting organized, I realized that I haven't been doing jewelry a lot and I want to do it. So that's what we're going to do. But today we're going to stamp and color so she's stamped out good. And I just took it off just to see if I have a double print or not. The professionals make this look so uh, simple. So we're going to see if this is a true statement about it being fairly easy. Or is it just me, the operator, that's, you know, not doing it. So right here, 
didn't stamp out very well and I guess some of these little pom-poms and then right here those little flowers you know whenever you try to progress <laughs> maybe it's just me whenever I try to progress forward it's always something that I tend to end up doing that pulls me back I'm going to try to press down on her mouth and right here again. So mouth and here. All right, that's good enough for what we're going to be doing at the moment. Hopefully you can hear me pretty good. These little mags magnets, these little magnets are really, really strong too. So that's good. I'll have to try it on some... Um, total polymer stamps to see what happens. So we're going to just get some colors and color this up. Oh, it's a Crafters Companion stamping uh, platform. You know, I try to use all of them to see which one is the best for me. But it's a pretty decent from that one little time. It's pretty decent. And we're going to be using some assorted uh, Alcohol markers. I'm not sure if you all are big into resolutions, but I, I am not. But I did say that I would be trying to influence you all more to do things, craft, buy, purchase, versus me letting you influence me. I dropped something. Just picking it up. So, yeah, that's the goal. And I think we're going to be using these flowers that I picked up from Hobby Lobby uh, a couple of years ago. So, I want to keep that in mind with the around area. I forgot to get my distress. So, I think we're going to go like with these yellows and maybe the green. I do have my glue gun. It's not plugged in yet because, you know, we're going to be coloring for a while. These are from Crafts Companion as well, and these are the Illustrator markers. And the Illustrators have a uh, paintbrush nib and then a regular bullet nib. And then these are some markers I picked up from Discount Store Ross, and you get 36 for $14.99. Again, I'm not a big colorist. I just color for what makes me happy. But if you're into coloring and you have your, you have a stamp like this and you have better or different brands, then I'm just going for basic colors, browns, reds, greens, some strawberries on here. And these little flowers, I think I may color those yellow to go with what we're going to do. I have a whole, I've envisioned a whole process. So let's just see if we can't get this going. So with this illustrator, this looks the same color. I want to, nope. I need a skin tone. Ah, yeah. So let's see if this will work for us. I hope you're weak. Nope, that's definitely not going to work. So this is a not going to work. And this is called Tender Pink. It's like grapefruit more so than anything else. So we'll go with pecan. No. Yes, we're going to go with sand. We're just going to color this lady's face in. Now, I do want to say that I wished Jamie Doherty would have did more more color more images with Prima because hers were like bust large images and it just made me feel so good to be able to color 
a large piece and do something with it versus some of the smaller ones. And I haven't seen any other stamping company utilize large amounts of rubber the way Prima does. I do want to tell y'all that I have been working on a project uh, because, you know, normally I do Crater. I don't think I'll be doing Crater this year. Not in April, at least. So I was like, what can I do through the months to not really have to get stressed out about making sure I get up in time and do a video and post it. So I do want to do, I do have some videos. I'm not finished with them, but I have some videos coming for February. Oh, do they? That is nice. I'll have to look into that. I'm always looking for some skin tone markers. As you know, right? I'm always looking for markers. Um, so I'll probably be posting the February videos up until the 14th of this month uh, at 12 or 11 my time, hopefully. I still have to work on a thumbnail. So once I finish the thumbnail... I'll be able to, yeah, uh, yeah. See, so this is the problem that you may encounter. You have a brush and then you have a bullet. I would prefer a larger or a wider one so I can just give it a better stroke. And you know what happens when you color over an image, it gets darker. And I was really hoping I had my lighter markers because I didn't want her to have this skin tone. I want it to be a bit lighter, but it's okay. We'll still work through it. No big deal. The thing is when I have, um, for me in my head, when I have a darker skin tone person, I always think about the hair color, unless I'm going to go with a wilder hair color, right? Because there's a lot of browns in here, and this is earth, and then this one's red. I'm going to go with red. So we'll make her hair red. I was going to give her a different hair style, but it's okay. And so since we're using this color, I have to go back in with a different color and lighten it or darken it. It's going to be okay. Nothing, you know, we can still just restamp this and move on. But why? I was going through some of my stuff. I'm not sure if y'all remember when I was trying to do the 100 days of coloring. And I stopped at like day two. No, I stopped fairly 20, 40. I think it was 100 days. So I, I, I may do that again. I think it starts in the end of March or April. I have to look into it. What I did not do is I did not actually plan it out properly. I think if I do 100 days of coloring, I'll get 100 images first and go from there. Right? Because if you are coloring something and you're trying to find an image every day for me it was a little bit rough i may even you know use some of the same images and just use monochromatic colors like okay today we're going to do greens or this week will be greens and we'll have some of the same images and then we can just go back and look over them because i know you know i had shared that link from prima they had all those free images you just print and color we could definitely do that with those ladies. Or we could do a tree, you know, something simple. So I have to look into it. I really want to do that versus Crata. Because with Crata, you know, creativity is always uh, something that I struggle with. But I don't want to just do Crata and get stuck in there. Because Crata, even though it's not alive, it is that day. Other videos besides the 100 day challenge, like the one that I'm going to be releasing for February, is X amount. Even with the collaborations, you know, they're a couple of days. I'm trying to
try to make my videos at least two days ahead of time or a week ahead of time. And lately, um, I've been having like, sometimes I have great connectivity with uploading and then sometimes I don't. So that's always an issue. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out what is hair and what is not hair. I think this is a part of this strawberry flower situation. I believe that this is some hair right here. I could have swore I colored her before, but apparently my mind has forgotten <laughs> uh, what that is. I have recently decided to get back into being on time with video watching. So I have I have a plan for that. Because I didn't even know that uh, Stampin' Up! had flesh tone markers. I have to watch somebody's video to see how they feel about them. It's always interesting to see how other people view markers. I watched this one lady and she was talking about some um, off-brand markers, you know, budget markers as they call them in the coloring world. I call them cheap. <laughs> but uh budget markers and i was like i like those markers and she was like these are crap blah 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 they don't do this and this and this and i was like i really actually like those markers and here you are a poop point on my markers ma'am and so i um i tend to not hold stock into a lot of that but when you have people that color and they do it very well. What do I know, right? Because I'm not a colorist. I do it for fun. I'm going to go in this pot right here as well. And color that in. Oh, well, you know, watching is important. Commenting is nice, but... I think that um, as long as you watch it, and I'm not saying that for me, I mean like in general for everybody, I think that's what you know we want is people to watch. And of course we want people to engage, but sometimes you can't, like I'll watch four or five videos if I'm traveling throughout the day, I'll watch the videos and then I have to remember whose video I watched to come back and comment on it. And late, I watched the person's video. Remember I had told y'all all, I'm just going to pull out some more colors to see if we can't do her eyes. I really would like her to have some green makeup. I don't know why. I just feel like the green is talking to me. And um, we'll see. But I want her lips to be whiny, wine colored. But I had left a, like a long comment on somebody's video and they left a smiley face for me. <laughs> so I mean... It just depends on what's going on. I try, you know, lately I haven't been responding like right away. I'll wait a couple of weeks, it seems, and respond. Unless someone has a question, like someone asked me a question about one of the things that I had posted. And they were like, "What? where did you buy these from? Or how much does it cost? And I responded. Because, you know, like if you have a real question versus, oh, I like your work or I like this. Sometimes those questions, people want those answers right away. I left a comment for someone and I was like, you know, I really enjoy watching your videos. Very inspiring. And I uh, got nothing back. Nothing at all. And so I would say kind of, it, it did not upset me at all. I'm going to color this a little bit brown on top of that green. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with this green. And this green is called Dark Olive. And I'm going to go back over it again. And now I'm going to see. I need a light, light green. Very light, faint green. Yes, this will work. And what we're going to do is we're going to do her makeup. And I'm just going to give her a little bit of 
right here as well. And now what I want to do, I'm going to go back in with that. I think this is what I said. Vivid purple. Yes. And I'm just going to do a sliver, a sliver right here. All right. Yeah, that looks great. Now let's go ahead and get into these strawberries. I really have been fiending for some strawberries lately. Like I went to the store a couple of weeks ago. For about two weeks now, I've been going to the store looking for strawberries. And they don't have any yet. Which I'm like, it's February coming up, you know. How do you not have strawberries? And I'm thinking, are even are strawberries even in season in February? Or are those strawberries just frozen in time for... Um, Valentine's Day to dip them in chocolate. I don't know. Are y'all cutting paper with me besides the ladies that are working? Or are y'all just hanging out? I never figured out how to have a group meeting without um, setting up like a Zoom account. I'm not sure if Google Hangouts is still around. I remember when Google, Google Hangouts was around, we would log into that. Now, I'm going to take this dark green, and I'm just going to trace a little bit of these lines. And hopefully, the lighter greens can um, just pull some of the dark green off. Now we're going to take this olive green again. Yeah, you're always getting ready for work. I do appreciate you hanging out with me before you go. That makes me smile. So now I'm just going to kind of rub this from here in. Even though it's not going to do much, I um, somehow enjoy doing that. So remember last week when I said I was going to finish those uh, cards, the easel cards, was it the easel cards? I finished them up. I finished coloring them. I think I got four of them. And then I was inspired to do some other things for the, the videos that I'm going to be releasing. So today's video may be late because I'm not sure what time we're going to finish here. But moving forward, all of them will be at 11 o'clock. I do, um, I had in mind how I wanted the thumbnail to look. So when I went online to try to find that thumbnail, no one had it. So I have to make, I have to make it, which I'm not opposed to making my own thumbnail. I just, you know, would have preferred to just use the one that was already provided. So now I'm going to take this dark olive and I'm going to go in on some of the stems. One stem, right? Oh, there's another one. Just rub it in. Well, we have strawberries, but I don't, the price, I should have said, I should have prefaced it. I don't want to pay $5 for one quart or two quarts, like $3 would be good. Today I'm going to go, um, I've been having some really bad foot pain, so I'm going to go and look for some new shoes for myself because my uncle and the big roommate were like, you need to get some better shoes, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go after this a few adulting errands to run so i'm gonna do those and i'm gonna use this grapefruit color in here i do want did i oh i did that yeah i was gonna say i did some coloring yesterday and i really enjoyed it so um like i was saying i don't make new year's resolutions anymore because they always fail at them but i've been doing like setting mini goals and one of the goals was to make x amount of videos yesterday so i made 
three of the four videos I'm supposed to make. And then I got really, really sleepy and was sitting at the desk falling asleep. And before you knew it, it was time to go get the little guy. So when I went and got him, I cooked and then I went to sleep. So I went to bed really early last night. And I woke up at 3 o'clock. I mean, that's not a, a huge time difference because I normally wake up that early anyway. But I definitely could stand to take a nap. But I don't function well at night after I've slept in the daytime. I just tend to... Um, function better just staying awake the whole time uh approximately how i so full disclosure true transparency some days i don't craft at all but in my trying to do better improve the channel i i want to start doing live streams more often um so Right now, you know, I'm only doing it on Tuesdays. I want to also do a quick live stream on, but it'll be at the crack of dawn at like 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I mean, on a Sunday, not a Saturday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because I want to grow the channel. Not like I'm out here saying subscribe to me, do this, do this. I just want to, you know, have more content. Um, currently, I probably do crafting, depends on the project, four hours. So yesterday I got up and I crafted until... Eleven, so seven, eight o'clock to eleven ish or twelve ish. But some projects, you know, take longer than other projects, and some projects are a lot easier and shorter to um, do. I think we were using red, brown, right? Red, brown. So. Hi, Deb. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, you got here. I just started, I think. My, uh, was having some technical difficulties over here. I couldn't, I didn't know what I was doing, basically. But yeah, welcome in. I hope you all, you're doing well today. I need to catch your lives because I haven't been catching them on time. And then one day I caught you live and blinked. And you were gone. I was like, what happened? I had logged in. It was like I was driving or something. And then, yeah, I came back to get from the car in the house. And you had logged off. Uh, let's try blue, light blue. For these little, I think this is supposed to be cotton. But we're going to change it to something else. Said light blue. I got a gray. Maybe my eyes not working either. They're getting heavy, that's for sure. Let's try this periwinkle. <laughs> so we're gonna be uh working on this lady. I tend not I tend to enjoy coloring, but I know it takes forever to color on a stream. But I enjoy it joy so much um so nix you know currently I'm, I'm not working right so if i i have decided that i want this to be my job and so what i told myself a couple of weeks ago is that you have to dedicate a minimum of x amount of hours to perfect your job to get better at your job so I've been doing more like craft cart, making research and different things like that. 
and not so much of watching the YouTube streams, but just reading and going to Pinterest and looking at people's blogs and reading what they've been saying and how they get things to work a certain way. So, you know, with anything that you want to make, you have to invest time and energy into it. I really would like to have about six hours a day into crafting because I also sell the car, some of the cars that I make. I've been making them to sell. So if you have no time, you have no profit. So I've just been making more and more time. But I also have to balance that with life at home and all those other things. So it's, it's, it's been interesting to try. And it's an adjustment for everybody. Because like I told the big roommate, he's home right now. And I was like, uh, all right, what are you doing? Because we going to go live. And, you know, you don't want him or whoever, even if you have small kids and you're doing something semi-professional, you don't want them walking back asking for a cup of juice, right? <laughs> At least I don't. Uh, we're going to pick a different color since we have this yellow right here. I think we're going to go with a darker blue but light so let's try water and sky and light yeah so um that's why I, at first i was only streaming in the daytime early in the morning because my son would get up and be like can i have some crackers or can i get this and i'm like uh sure um, on facebook is a little bit different because you know it's only x amount of people in the facebook group so not everybody knows that he will come in and ask for certain things but on here now that he's in school i tend to i can just come home and turn off my cell phone and create and craft the one thing that i told myself last year into this year is that no matter what no matter what i'm not going to get in my way hi how are you doing today, ma'am? And so I'm just going to, you know, keep pushing forward. But then I got sick. And I'm not sure if you can tell my voice is still not back, like 100%. So I was like, I don't want to stream. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that because I don't sound good to myself. <laughs> and if I do too much talking... It's usually at nighttime it starts to crack and give out. It starts to get like really uh, weak. So I have to be mindful of that. So I've been just doing um, emergency in the daytime, like in the morning time when everybody's still sleeping. I'll just medicate myself, so to speak, and just go for go forward and try and, and do better. <laughs> But for the most part, yes, when I am like when I am in my crafting zone, I will spend three, three hours or so crafting. And it's not necessarily like for real crafting. Like yesterday, I cut four sheets of 12 by 12 to make cards and had zero card. I have zero cards to show for it because I was like, I don't like this paper. And so I was like, OK that is you know that's gotta stop like i have all these scraps of good paper that i'm chopping up and then when i go back to use it i can't remember what it was for and or nothing so the goal is always to um use up the paper because i haven't unpacked all the stuff from mississippi but when i was in mississippi i had about three scrap bins and now i have about four scrap bins so total seven scrap bins that need to be used i'm just going to go in with this water blue and it's not as light as i want it to be but that's okay and i'm just going to drag it across those lines i made and hopefully they get married and create a beautiful blue hue baby if not it's okay Cause this is definitely not the color of water in my opinion maybe some ocean water some resort that they've treated the water and make it look a certain way hi barry 
very crafty. You must have smelled strawberries and popped in, huh? <laughs> Let's color in this and we're going to, you know, I want to say this. I feel like I've been jinxed with the fussy cutting bug because lately I've been doing a lot of fussy cutting, unfortunately. And I'm not, I'm not pleased with myself about that at all. So I, you notice I'm trying to keep, keep it down to the bottom of my little ticks. <laughs> I'm just going to go over those lines and hope right next <laughs> that I can drag some of that blue. Okay, yeah, that's good. I do want to say something. Um, you know, I'm going to be streaming or going, you know, live on Tuesdays or whatever. Uh, lately, I've had some people that are not supposed to be in here, in here. And if if they come in, especially during this month, just know that I'm doing my best behind the scenes to make sure that um, they're not in here very, very long. Um, if you want more details, you can always just ask them text me you know send me a message i want to color this green but i don't want to color that green i don't know we're gonna just cut it off i think we'll just cut that off because i don't i don't want i want it yeah we'll just cut that off i think ah you know i don't like fussy cutting at all it's not my thing but apparently it is my thing because I've been doing a lot, a lot, 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 lot more lately than I really want to. And I'm using uh, Hobby Lobby 65 pound paper, some cheap paper, cheap, light, lightweight, I shouldn't say cheap, lightweight paper. You know, I prefer to color on a heavier card stock when I'm stamping but this is what I have that's what I'm gonna use I've been going through like whenever I clean I have stacks and stacks and then I'll just whittle those stacks down and I had a stack of shred <laughs> oh ma'am how did you know I hate fussy cutting I just do not like detail cutting at all but I have been doing it a lot lately, so I must I must enjoy it. I must. I mean, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. But uh, I have so many different weights of paper, and I'm like, okay, because I have when I print it, um, when I print out the paper to cut on the scanning cut, I tend to use a heavier weight paper versus a lighter weight paper. Just because I feel like the scanning cut will react better with a thicker sheet of paper. And what I need is that craft fair to show up to um, come and um, sort all that stuff out. But the craft fairy must be on strike. I will, I will admit she has been fussy cutting a lot lately like even with the project i did yesterday lots of fussy cutting but i feel like you know i shouldn't say i hate it i despise it but fussy cutting is a necessary evil right some things have to be finite detailed and other things not so much so i don't know I do not. Damn, no. 
I hate fussy cutting. It's it's a it's a necessary evil. Um, but I do it a lot, so it, it appears that I I enjoy it, which I absolutely do not enjoy it at all. Um, it's my least favorite paper crafting, right along with measurements, which we'll be doing that today too. <laughs> But overall, I cannot stand fussy cutting. It is the worst. I get it. You know, we have to do it. But that's why I have a scan and cut. So, shoot. But the scan and cut, like, I prefer when I stamp out my images, if I'm going to scan and cut them, I prefer to cut them out before I color them up. Um, some people say scan and, I mean, color them, scan and cut. But for me, my scan and cut seems to work better on a cleaner image than a dirty image. Dirty means just colored in. So I prefer it that way. Come on, lady. Let's do these lips properly. So no, I do not. I really detest uh, fussy cutting. But I do it. Right? I just need her to come and organize everything. If I had a craft fair that did that, I wouldn't mind fussy cutting. I think, you know, uh, last year I, I determined that I was, no, year before last, that I was trying to do too many crafts at one time. Like I had a lot of stuff that I never really did. Um, I had, you know, I do a few crafts, crochet. I have fabric for whatever reason, beading, stamps and coloring. And then I was like, I'm going to get into cross stitch. <laughs> So I went out and bought a whole bunch of cross stitch stuff. Everywhere I saw, if they had it, I would buy it. Because I was like, I'm going to get into it. And this is a long time ago when I said I was going to get into it. I think my mom was still here. And then I met the lovely Rylanda. And she's a cross stitching expert. And I was like, I'm going to send you a box. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it. So uh, over time, I've had to learn that I can't do every project. Other people need to do projects. And if I have, I have a friend that's local, she likes fussy cutting. But I also think that fussy cutting is therapeutic for people, whereas coloring is therapeutic for me. So she could fussy cut everything. I saw her on Sunday. I had to stop and do some financial stuff. And um, she was fussy cutting. And I'm like, no, ma'am, we will not be doing that today. I'm going to actually cut... Hmm. Cut this, this thing. But no, I don't really care for fussy cutting. Like I, it's a few things. If I, if someone wants to list like the things you don't like to do in crafting, I wouldn't put fussy cutting number one. But it would be in the top five. The number one thing would be measurements. Um, I wish that we only worked in one measurement. For crafters, I don't care what it is, um, but only one would be great. So I had bought a guillotine paper trimmer, and it had both measurements on there. And I feel like it was not American made because it, I feel like the numbers were all still. So I'm going to cut this little vine piece off. All right. So we got everything done. Like I feel like I need I cut her body off because she ain't got no body. And she's so small compared to the other um Jamie Doherty Prima bust that they did together. Let 
I'm not sure if you have been to the Dollar 25 store recently, but we're going to be using some products from there. But I got them from the Dollar Tree, right? Not the Dollar 25 tree. <laughs> but this is one of the, this is a prime example of uh, what I'm not doing this year. Well, you're, you deserve a lot more, ma'am, a lot more. When I get in that garage, I'll be sending the rest of it, more and more stuff. So, right here we have this. We have our flowers we're going to use. And then we have this little 5 by 7 frame. I thought this would be really nice to put in the frame and do some other stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that. The one thing I do not care for, and I know these are supposed to be like a little bit more fancy, is that this is a glass frame. So you got to be careful with that. If you want to use some plastic, you know, you can get some acrylic or whatever. But, you know, um, glass frames can break. And again, you know, this is a Dollar Tree item. So you can see right here, it is loose. I've had this for a long, long, long time, though. So it could have just been my um, storage situation but i'm sure this just cheaply uh stapled down whoever was on the assembly line approving these let that one go and they shouldn't have all right so now we're just going to put that to the side so since i don't have a craft there you notice that i try to clean my desk a little bit more off because the craft fair union is watching and hopefully one day they will allow me to get a craft fairy right all right, so I'm just going to do that. See how I want to situate her. And now we're going to plug in our glue gun. In one second. I hope the, the cord is long enough for us. I'm just going to put this on top real quick. I do have a few things up my crafty sleeve. I have some lace, right? That's the only thing I have up my sleeve. It's some lace. But I was like, you know, we could probably put lace on here. But I don't know. That may be a little bit too weird. We'll see. We'll see. I have these this lace trim and this lace trim so we'll see I'm just gonna plug in my glue gun and I'm gonna change this background to a different color uh, I think I have a, a light blue sheet of paper maybe green I can get my big old head in the frame. All right, so we got our glue gun plugged in and get some glue sticks ready. I was going to watercolor the background, but she changed her mind, right? I changed her mind. I was like, I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use a sheet of paper out of here. And I'm just going to use this sheet of paper. It's fairly not attractive for what we're doing right now. You know, 
and we're gonna put her on here let's see let's do this side so we're gonna put that there yes ma'am i sure will i remember one day i had went live and you were live and i, I was like dang it you know i don't want to um compete with my friends going live i prefer to give support as much as possible i have broken my paper trimmer broke it destructive person i am so we're gonna just make this a five by seven frame I'm thinking I put this in a video. Um, it's not going to be released yet, but I'm thinking about getting another paper trimmer, a self cutting one, but I haven't decided yet. Maybe I put that in yesterday's. I don't know. I did so many videos yesterday, I can't remember. All right, so we're going to put her right here. Yep, I'm just going to use some regular glue. Every Tuesday, unless it's a holiday or my son's out of school, I will be live. So like two weeks ago, was it a holiday? Two weeks ago, three weeks. Whenever he was out of school for Christmas, Christmas break, up, I didn't go live. I mean, I could go live, but it'd just be me, you, and Samara here, you know, the early bird crew. Cause everybody else was getting those Z's in. <laughs> I wish I could get in some good Z's every now and then. So yesterday I would sleep early. And my son comes waking me up, asking me a question. Oh, thank you. I'm pencil in the roller decks. I like that. And I'm like, go ask your dad. Because for some reason, I was just like really tired. I don't know why. So just burnishing this down. And I'm still going to use this little frame as well. Fits nicely. I'm going to put this in here. Now, I don't plan on keeping half the junk I make anymore. So, you know, whoever receives these, whenever I do send them out, they are more than welcome to take these things apart and do whatever they want to do with them. Like put a picture or something. I always like to use these in my head. I'm like, this can be a good cover of a book, right? I'm going to move it over to the side so it's not a, a glare. But I never do that. Gonna pour all these things out. Guess what? I didn't bring the bling. I did not bring bling. That's okay. I can always uh, come back and touch it up. Because, you know, I want to do more than one project. So the goal is never to spend a whole bunch of time in one area doing one thing. So we're going to do these really quickly like that and maybe here oh yeah that sucks sleeping I have you looking crazy not sleeping I should say We'll have you looking bonkers. Like, what was I thinking? Why am I not sleeping? So I got this little kit. Not, I bought it with my own money, not trying to promote it, but they have a whole bunch of these little balls. And this is pastry balls. This is not really paper balls, but I got it for some clay that I want to do, as well as... Uh, paper flowers 
but I got it from Amazon. And I'm just gonna come in and, and do this real quick. Yep. I find that for me sleeping, if I have something in my daily event that I know I need to get done, I can't sleep until my body's just like, oh, you know, you know, you're not gonna sleep. Okay, go sit down. And once I go sit down, it's a, it's over. I'm sleeping for like days, I guess. Oh, did you? I have to see. Oh, you said I thought I thought you asked me if I if you did. I thought you said you did too. Oh yeah, I changed it a little bit. Just a little bit. I might change it back though. We'll see. I'm just using my hand to make these flowers uh curl up a little bit more. one on the petals to actually give them some more curl. I do like these petals from Hobby Lobby. I don't like the prices. <laughs> and Michaels hardly ever have them on sale. So, all right. So here we go. My glue gun is already leaking. All right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and plop this First layer of glue on the corner. And even though I don't like to waste the flowers, I feel like doing good clusters is always a very uh, important. So we'll we'll stack them on like that. And if it looks too weird, we'll we'll adjust it. Because, you know, these are the same size. You really don't want to do same size flowers. You want to kind of go in with different flowers and adjust. Just as needed. But we're doing it backwards today. <laughs> and you could always just make your flowers first and then stack them. But no, like I said, we're doing them backwards today. It's always weird looking at yourself backwards. I'm like, why am I backwards? Did y'all see that coming? We didn't tore some petals off. Probably not, huh? Yep, I ripped the, I ripped off a petal. And it's one of the video games I play. You can um, <laughs> have a a person come with you to fight and um they don't like when i rip off wings of butterflies i mean in real life i would never do that but in the game you need it it's required in some of your alchemy <laughs> and they get really mad at me and i'm like you'll get over it <laughs> all right so now we're just going to throw some yellow in I want to, yeah, we'll just build this up real quick. It's the blue. It only gave me one blue one. Interesting. Interesting. So what we'll do is we'll just do this like that. You know, I always forget to put a stem or something underneath the flower. I don't know why. I, I And, you know, in my head, I'm like, don't forget to put the stem underneath the flower. And then I'm like, okay, yeah. I never do it. Never. But I could always just go back and do it. I was thinking about that because these little spiky things reminded me, hey, you forgot to put the stem underneath the flower. This glue gun is just going bananas, oozing out. I guess I need to take my finger off the, the 
right here. All right, so I'm gonna just do this. Now I'm not sure, I don't think we're gonna even be able to put the lace on because it will look a bit odd to put lace on there. And we're gonna throw it all off with this little pink flower right here. Now see, this is when I need my craft fairy to show up because I'm ready to switch projects, right? I'm going to attempt to fix this piece right here real quick. Thank you so much. I tore off these petals, so I need to make sure I put them kind of back. You know, whenever we have products that are crappy, like this gun is just oozing out glue right now, I always say in my head, I'm going to throw it in the trash as soon as the stream is over, as soon as I finish, as soon as this happens. And I never do. So it's unplugged, ready to go. And I want to put another set of flowers right here. But we're going to do some small ones real quick. Nope, that won't look right. I hear Deb saying threes and threes only and threes. So we got three. And that is that. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I did. I really, really did. So this is our first project. I like the flowers. I, I like everything. If I had a strawberry or something, maybe I could have put the strawberry on here, but I don't. Now, I don't want to stamp again, but I kind of want to stamp again. But we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make a book. No, I'm joking. We're going to make a card, some cards real quick, some sticker sheet cards, I think. That's what the title says, right? Cards in the box. So first we're going to work on a box real quick. So now I watched this lady make some boxes and I was like, ooh, boxes. Because, <laughs> you know, we're always talking about boxes and not finishing them up and stuff like that. Because so I have a project that I want to work on and I can't really work on that project until I get different size boxes. Um, and the way she explained it, she made it seem so easy. All you got to do is cut off a sliver of the paper and still measure it according to whatever the size is, and you should be fine. I tried her theory, her method. You know I didn't get it right. You know that, don't you? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and I want to... Do I have? I don't have. So we're going to use this one. We have some big sheets in here, like Chase the Sun. It's probably one. Take Chances. Uh, elegance. I don't know about that one. Oh, maybe this, this, is, this life is beautiful. So we're going to make some cards from there. Thank you. I know that's why I didn't, I didn't put any more on there because I was like, that will get me. <laughs> You know, I'm like, let's let's do it. Let's make it look so. Yeah. The only thing is this right here, we have to be careful because, you know, it's, a, it's an inexpensive frame, so it will not really poke out properly. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pull some sheets of paper out. We're going to try to find some semi-plain pages. Okay. 
one side has to be semi-plane, right? And in keeping with the whole three or four cards, I'm going to try this real quick. You know, the one thing about paper pads that I have found to be slightly annoying is sometimes when you buy them, thank you so much. Um, sometimes they only have one set of papers. They don't have a whole bunch. All right, so let's see if we can't focus on happy, chase the sun. I know I'm not a planner person, but I always buy planners when they're on sale because I'm like, that's a good deal. <laughs> the planner uh, sticker sheets and stuff. I'm like, oh, I could, you know what I could do with that? I could do so much with that. All right. So this is an upcoming video. Let's see, make sure these are the right ones. And um, so I won't I won't go over them too like go over in, in details too much, but I have some prefabricated cards already cut out, and we won't we won't uh, linger on with these too much because we want them to be. I don't want to take away from the other videos. But apparently, I'm going to have to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make some cards, right? I'm going to use that. So we got four sheets. We got these two. I do plan on, I went online. Maybe y'all can help me. I had went online to try and find some cards. Not cards. Some not sketches but templates i feel i feel like sketches are a little bit different than templates on um like measurements funky folding cards and things like that and i found two websites and the people were like you want to see all these beautiful cards we have we have 544 different card techniques send us i think it was like 40 dollars for the book a 34, something like that. I was like, you're not getting my money today. Maybe on another day, I would have gave them all of my dollars, but not recently. And I thought I had saw someone do a haul with how to, you know, the measurements on cards, but no. So I'll probably end up going to the library. So we're going to just use this and be done with it. We're not going to stress out about this at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this thing right here score tool and I'm going to turn these around and I'm going to go to the one inch mark on my left side of my scoreboard you know I really I really do know how to speak words sometimes today is just not one of those times and we're going to score it one inch it's two inch five and a quarter inch I'm going to turn it over and we're going to repeat one inch. And we have our, remember, we have our paper at the one inch mark. So we're only scoring one inch inside to the paper. And then we're going to score one inch, two inch, five and a quarter. Now we're going to turn our paper and we're going to go into our one inch. And we're only going to score from the five and a quarter inch to the one inch score line that we just made. And for some reason, my score line on the one inch down below it always gives me a little problem and now i'm going to turn this over again yeah i was like i don't want to and then i wouldn't i think for me i i don't think i mind paying that money if i could see what you have i don't want to click on it and then it's some junk all right so now since we have our line in the middle we're going to go to the one and the four and a quarter inch and from our one inch score to our other one inch score we're gonna score it okay 
Now, I do talk about a website that I did learn how to make this from in another video. And what I'll tell you is that my measurements for me are a lot easier because they're one inch. And I'll show you why it's easier for me to do it this way. And then we're just going to repeat that step. And we're only going to do two cards because I don't want to keep y'all with this. I have another project I want to try and, and make. So I'm trying to give y'all y'all money's worth. <laughs> but it's one inch to five and a quarter. Then rotate it. And the reason why I do it like this versus trying to figure out those lines and where to score at is just a lot less headache honestly we're going to score at the one inch mark rotate it will people really see all these lines uh, depends on how you cover your paper if you don't do a good job at covering your paper yet yeah, they'll see it and then once you got all your scores you're going to turn your paper back and you're going to go to the four and a quarter now, of course, you can score however you want. If you found an easier way to do it, then that's fine and dandy. Now, this is the part that I will tell you the jury's still out on. I would recommend getting your paper trimmer and cutting on the score line. So you're going to cut from your one inch to your five and a quarter inch score line. But my paper trimmer doesn't like me, so we've been fighting. So what I normally do is I just take it, my edge right here, to the one inch mark and find that first score and score it down. Now, the problem with this is that, you know, when you cut paper, if you cut it against the grain, it messes up. So I just cut it against the grain. So that's something you have to be concerned about is cutting your paper against the grain. It will chew it all up and... We really don't want that. So you just have to be mindful of that. So I just turned it over and we're gonna go to this one inch mark and cut it like that. And right now my paper trimmer is not the best at cutting stuff. So if you have a really good paper trimmer or you're, you trust your hands or you have one of those little finger cutters, do it that way. Whatever's gonna be best for you. All right, so you see right here, it stopped cutting. And even though I don't like to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in here. Just like that. So we have two flaps. All right. And now you're going to take your paper and decide what side you want it to be on. We're going to do two cards, two different. We're going to do four cards still, but just different ways. So we're going to take this side and we're going to cut this paper down to five and a quarter, excuse me, five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to cut it just like, we, like we're getting ready to make a card front. You know, turn four and a quarter. Okay, so now that you have your paper, you're going to turn it back lengthwise and you're going to go to your one inch mark on your paper trimmer. And you're going to cut down into three and a quarter. Okay. Same with this, you're going to just go to the one inch. And you're going to get down to three and a quarter. Now, because I can't cut straight lines to say, and I'm going to cut to one inch. And there we go. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you actually go out anymore, but it's a Fisker's finger blade you can put on your finger and control it. So just like an X-Acto knife, but only on your finger. Um, it just gives you more control and precision. All right, so now we're going to put all these scraps to the side, and you're going to have your three pieces that you just cut apart, and you're going to have this. Now what you're going to do is bar varnish going to fold those first. We're going to fold here. And now we're going to fold those pieces. And you're going to fold. 
so for me, I'm not sure how you feel about trying to figure out numbers and measurements and all that good stuff. For me, cutting it at one inch makes it a lot easier because now we have a T that we can just put on top of here. So by actually using your regular sheet of paper, your card front and making it four and a quarter by five and a half, you just cut it down. You go to that, you know, you cut off your inches and now you have it. Now, of course, we had a little bit of difficulty with our paper trimmer. And so we have some stray paper in here. And you want to go ahead and clean that up now versus later. And if you had just cut it regular with your scissors, you may not have that issue. But I don't trust myself. I don't like my lines being crooked. So I always try to use um, someone else's cutting measurements, you know, the paper trimmer cutting. All right. So I'm just going to reburnish this down. And now we have a stepper. A basic easy peasy stepper card. I was gonna use this one, but I can't I didn't I didn't want to be messing with the measurements on these little pieces. But I want to try and do more steppers in different colors and shapes. So now you can decide if you want to use this green one or this one. I feel like this is a little bit too busy for this paper that we're using. Yeah, I well. I think we all should, if we don't have to be out in the streets, even though I be out in the streets, we shouldn't be in the streets. Um, I'm getting more and more like that. Uh, two weeks ago, we had a storm here. Suppose We were supposed to have a storm. And I, my dumb self, was going to the grocery store, not to get provisions, just to get regular groceries. And the parking lot had so many people in the parking lot. I was like, what is going on? Why is the store full of people? Right? So I go in the store and it's no food on the shelf, none. And I know a lot of people out there, I have a my friend, she said she went to the grocery store yesterday and there was no french fries, no bags of potatoes, no, no bag of french fries. And she's like, this is not a good sign. And, you know, I, I don't think that it's not a good sign. People just not working for whatever reason. And I'm not talking about people that are going to work. And then they get sick or they're quarantined. And I'm talking about people that's like, you know what? The government is going to take care of me. I'm not going to work anymore. Those people are just like, I'm not working. I quit. Um, so I think that's why we have a low on some on some things. And I always tell people, like, I'm in Texas. I, uh, we have chicken farms here. We have certain farms here. <laughs> and it should never be, like, low because we get all our product, most of the product locally. That's why I'm upset about those strawberries. But yeah, I, I'm a I'm a homebody, and then I run to the craft stores, and then I come home. Like I'm not at the restaurants eating meals anymore until I get tired of cooking. I'm like, I don't want to cook today. I'm not cooking today, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to match this thing up. Oh, we did a good job. Look at that. So now we're gonna do this. But I'll send you a picture of the finger blade that. I've only ever seen them at High Michaels and Joint Fabric. But you can probably get them online. Sitting at home is a lot cheaper. <laughs> That's for dang sure. Well, now you can try it again. We'll do it together. You help me. What do you mean? Hold on. You helped me. I actually had to go back to one of my old videos to see if I had ever did this before. You helped me. All right, so now we got these things down, right? And this is where your fancy comes in. How fancy do you want your card to be? Do you want it to be super duper fancy? Get all your super duper fancy stuff out. If you want it to be okay, I need to put some stuff on here to embellish it, but not... Um, Just gonna burnish this down. They don't want to stay. Um, go crazy with it, then that's what you do. Okay. You decide. But we're gonna use some of these stickers because it has all these tropical things on here. So this is just gonna be a very fitting card. I think we may actually use this lady in this outfit. Even though this lady would probably look a lot better. I feel like this black swimsuit is a little bit more contrasting. 
But let's find our statement first. Um, chase the sun, right? That's what we said we're going to use. All right. So we got chase the sun. We're going to burnish this down some. Yeah. So we're chasing the sun, right? We're speaking happy summer vibes into existence already. And now we're going to find a lady. Let's see if we can find a different image besides the ones that we have already identified. That's the one we want to put on there. And the answer is no. So we're going to go back to this lady. And I think she'll fit. You know, so the problem with the cat food, from what I understand, because, you know, Nicholas is on a special diet, is that, um, are you serious? Oh, great. Okay. That is fine. Um, it says one of the ingredients is missing. Yeah, I'm gonna fussy cut this lady. Don't don't say nothing, y'all. Don't say nothing. Cause we're gonna take her from a sticker to a uh, uh, pop in right here. So let me go ahead and burn this down. I love fussy cut, and it's so amazing. I have to do it all the time. It's just I, I don't know what to do with myself. Apparently, yeah. When Carla and I did the fun foes, um. This is one of the ones that we did together. I still have to find out, figure out how to do the illusion card. So Myra had asked me to do like a year and a half now, two years ago. Yeah, so for us, this, the, you know, of course, um, some of the things are empty because they say they are floating out in California on the water. I don't know how true that is either. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not here to debate whether or not that's actually what's going on or not. But I think that it's something going on. Something in the water, not right, right? But some stores' shelves stay full. And other stores' shelves are like, find me. So our local store, we have two, H-E-B and Walmart. And then we have some regular mom and pop grocery stores. From my understanding, H-E-B ran the other stores out, out of business. So those stores have stuff in them, like the local store that's right next to the Dollar Tree. It has stuff in it. H-E-B has things in it. Walmart, today it'll be full. And tomorrow, in, in my area, say if they say it's going to be rain, an uh, inch of rain, the store is now empty. And so that's why they limit, they've been limited in people um, from going out and buying it. And unfortunately, here, people will go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff, and then they'll put it online and sell it for extra money. You know, y'all already know how I feel about that, so we won't even go in there. But that's what they've been doing here, selling stuff like that. Um, but the cat food, from my understanding, one of the things that, they, that goes into cat food has been really hard to produce and keep in stock. And... Perina, is it Perina? If your cat is on Perina, I think that's the one. So my cat is on Raw Canaan. But it's through Perina. I think Perina is Raw Canaan, just different names. Because he could get the Hill Science diet, no problem, not the Perina. All right, so we're going to put this lady right here. And whenever I'm doing these cards, I'm always looking like, do I want to cut this off and answer yes um do i want the back piece to be missing or do i want it to be on here and i, I think and the back piece is just this part and i'll show y'all real quick this is a sneak peek don't tell anybody i shared this with you okay <laughs> so this is what i mean like hanging off if i want it to hang off 
or do I want it to cover up? Like this one is covering up this side. So when it opens up, it looks like that. So yeah, we're going to put this right here like that. And I want to use some glue. I want to put it right here. My art glitter glue has a lot of pressure in it. And, and you, if you notice, some things are missing more than others. Special, certain special things are missing and then other things aren't. So I always have to keep that in mind before I get like in too deep with the, the theories and stuff like that. But I was just like, what is going on at the store when I went and it was full of people and it was and I was like, what is going on? But in my area, people over. You know what? Nicholas is fat, so he'll eat whatever. And he, he doesn't eat human food, but he will eat any kind of um, cat food you give him for the most part. I want to take this because, you know, Deb is here, so. We're going to dress the inside real quick, just a little bit. Because Deb dresses most of her insides. And I'm like, she's good. <laughs> and we're going to put this other little palm leaf right here. Thank you. All right. And we just need one more thing to go here and I'm looking in this sticker book to see if we can find it I'm really using this like a real sticker book and it's a planner book like <laughs> I like it I love it so if you have one of these and you're not a planner lady you could do what I did and make these into like an actual card right you don't have to use them as sticker stickers which is always a great idea we can make a bathtub one too. Ooh, lots of possibilities. All right, so I don't see another one. So I'm going to have to pull out my actual card, my uh, die cuts to do that. Speak of the cat devil, Nicholas is behind me plotting, most likely to scratch me. The other day I was in the game doing something hard, and he jumped, like, attacked my back. And I'm screaming, like, ah! And he looks at me like, get it together. Yes. See. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're getting rid of those nicks, <laughs> talk to me. Even though I don't need them. I don't need them. It's just nice to have extra. But you can keep those and do something with them. All right, we can't find anything to go on this side. I guess I could put another lady on, but I feel like that's a waste of a sticker. Because I didn't really come here doing tropical stuff. Maybe we'll just put some gems, you know. On the Facebook group, I put the February craft project. Like, what are you doing for your February? And I think whenever I do that, it just sparks. Yeah, we could put some dots. We'll put a dot here. We're going to do three dots because Deb is definitely here. And we do not want to not do three dots. Although I think two dots is fine. We're going to do three just because. Right? <laughs> there we go. So there's that. I have a mess on the desk. I pull out all those sheets. I got to make cards. I've been making cards offline. When I sell my finished cards, I'll get in, chit chat with my friend and do it. Yeah, um, that is that. I like it. it. Doesn't have to be super over the top. I do have a bird. I can put this bird right here. I think it's a bird. Is this is the same one though. I think I have a bird. Let's 
See, this bird would look good, but it says you got this. Girl, you got this. And I don't want to put that on there. I thought I had a bird. Hmm. Oh, what's this one saying? Play? Palm trees, no. But we could put a swimsuit on here. Nah, I'll just find a sun or something. No, 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 no. You ain't gotta leave. <laughs> I appreciate you being here and cracking jokes with me. I just always... When you're around, I'm always like, to be open and honest, my other friend was like, three is just more pleasing to the eye. I always do three. Like, she did something. I was like, why are you only getting three? I like four. She's like, no, three is the number. She went to, like, um, interior design school and stuff like that. So, you know, she, she's been trained, classically trained in the arts, I guess you could say, as well. So, we got that. We got this. We did the other lady coloring and... We'll be making more cards, but I don't think I don't have all the stuff and I don't want to um, stress about it. So I'll finish those up and I'll try to take some pictures and put them on the Facebook group at some point. But I think that is all for today because I don't know if y'all want to see me make a box. Oh, three makes a visual triangle. Is that why? Because I always think like two here and I don't know. I will work on that though. I will work on being better at threes. I just like stuff in twos it seems like. So this is our first project. We stamped and colored, layered her, put these flowers on here and then we made a stepper card. It says chase the sun. We have this beautiful lady right here. I'm not sure what she's actually doing with her arm like that, but these are planner stickers that we just turned into uh, cards, a visual triangle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. So if you don't have anything for me, I am done for the morning. I want to say I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me. It means a lot to me. I hope that you all have a great day and until next time, happy crafting.